the dean medical superintendent dda sc fa heads of the department and sections who are here today faculty members residents staff my dear students and all members of the aims bhuvaneshwar family good morning even though i miss standing in front of a large gathering seeing all of you face to face as i speak on the 74th independence day celebrations of our country the feeling of pride and reverence we all felt as we saluted the tricolor was exactly the same as it was in these last few years if you noticed the moment we lowered the opened the tricolor and rose it up the staff the sun shone and i think that is one way the sun god blessed us today we all know that never before in the history of our nation have we been tested in this manner as the pandemic is testing us now even though there have been pandemics before and infectious diseases with a much higher mortality rate than covid-19 which perhaps an older generation than ours can remember never before has the medical fraternity been called upon to care under such challenging circumstances and also called upon to take care of their own never before have we been have we dealt with so much uncertainty so much doubt so much ambiguity so much pain and misery and sadness and never before have we lost so many of our own it is amidst this gloom that hangs over all of us spreading its miasma of despair and desolation that i ask all of you to continue to look inside for a strength deep within yourself to work together motivate each other give each other a reason to come together and rise up to meet this threat that has shaken the very foundations of this planet 74 years ago the freedom fighters of our country must have faced similar situations when trying to beat the british they would have felt the weight of oppression the brutality of a foreign regime and the deep sadness of losing one's near and dear to the freedom struggle but yet they persevered they persisted they endured and they triumphed and if we are all able to breathe the sweet fragrance of freedom today it is because they all breathed the stale stink of tyranny while dreaming of the sweetness of freedom our celebrations today can never be complete without paying our respects and obeisance to all those who gave up their freedom so that we may have ours the covid-19 pandemic has brought us closer in more ways than we realize it has forced us to rethink our lifestyles that we were leading the manner in which we ill treated mother earth the negligence and utter callousness with which we treated almost every other species on earth the gluttony of consumerism and the all encompassing greed to accumulate wealth and affluence in trying to beat a common enemy we have come closer as individuals we have come closer as those individuals who have chosen to be here with a common vision a unified focus and an integrated mission the year gone by has been eventful by itself many of you have all so enthusiastically enumerated your successes in the videos for the foundation day celebrations held last month hence today i will not be speaking of our progress this last year nor will i be speaking of individual successes we have successfully conducted the recruitment and selection processes and many staff faculty and students have joined this organization we are happy to welcome them all into the aims bhuvaneshwar family and hope their aspirations will be met and this institute will encourage and support them in their personal growth and enable them to reach for the stars last year on 25th december 
we inaugurated a statue of one of the greatest statesmen of our country, the late Prime Minister of India, Bharat Ratna Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who laid the foundation stone for this institution on July 15, 2003. The inauguration of this statue was the culmination of a declaration made by the former Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Sri J.P. Nadda, at the first convocation of Ames Bhuvaneshwar held in August 2018. The Honorable Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshwardhan, the Honorable Minister of Petroleum, Natural Gas and Steel, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan, and the Honorable MPs and members of the Institute body, Sri Madhi Aparajita Sadangi, Sri Anubhav Mohanty, and Sri Amar Patnaik were all present for the inauguration of the statue which adorns the lawns of this hospital. On 29th February this year, we saw an incredible display of teamwork and team spirit in conducting the second and third convocations of our institution. Both the convocations were picture perfect, where tradition and innovation held hands and we listened to brilliant speeches from our president, Professor Subrata Acharya, and our two chief guests, Professor Balram Bhargav and K. Srinath Reddy. We have achieved a lot, but we have a lot more to do. And I know we are trying to get comfortable with the new normal. So to all the students and staff and faculty who are listening to me today, we need to seek inspiration from within and reiterate our idols and aspirations and contribute to nation building to become self-reliant. So what does it mean to work in a government hospital like Ames Bhuvaneshwar today? It doesn't really matter what your actual designation is or whether you are an outsourced employee or a contractual one or on deputation like me or a resident or a regular staff or faculty. What does it mean to work in a government healthcare facility today? It means we get to serve our fellow men and women. We get to treat the underserved, the poor, the destitute. We get to treat those who have nowhere else to go or no one else will treat. It means we put ourselves at increased risk in order to save lives. Does this mean we will be praised, fated, commended for what we do? Mostly never. So we will need to stop asking ourselves, what is there in it for me? The only return you will perhaps see will be a paycheck at the end of the month. Some of us may be the only ones in a family to have a job. There are many men and women who work here at Ames Bhuvaneshwar who are the sole breadwinners for their family. For all of us, having a job here enables us to put food on the table and give a roof above the heads for our near and dear. This is not the case for many of our fellow Indians who at this time of their pandemic have lost their jobs and their livelihood. That is not the case with us. Hence, our responsibility to our government, our country and our institution should be steadfast, resolute and unfaltering. Since all of us are getting paid for the work we do, which is not the same which we can say for many of our brethren. Yes, we are at increased risk of contracting COVID-19. Some are at a greater risk than others, but that is what we signed up for when we took up this job to work in a healthcare institution. This is something we need to reflect on as we celebrate this beautiful day. Working here with this wonderful team of enthusiastic, caring and hardworking individuals has given me a chance to be a public servant with all the enormous responsibilities, the duties, the obligations and compulsions it evokes. Above all, it allows me to contribute to nation building, which to me is the highest privilege for any person. I have got this wonderful opportunity too, only because I had the privilege of working in government institutions. All the working, planning, and implementation of the numerous projects have been overshadowed by this COVID-19 pandemic. From mid-March 2020 till now, there have been many people who have been working day and night, trying to keep pace with the exigencies as they arise. We are able to keep going, tweaking our SOPs, rosters, mode of functioning by staying on top of these things 
only because we have opened up channels of, con channels of communication between all staff and we listen to voices of dissent and we are not afraid of going wrong. In these COVID times, I place on record my appreciation and praise for all faculties, both from medical and nursing specialty, all our residents, our interns and students, both nursing and paramedical, the nursing officers, technicians, the security, housekeeping staff, kitchen, maintenance staff, engineering division, IT division, administrative support from procurement stores, pharmacy, financial support, each and every person who may have headed or is a part of a team who has given their best in this effort to combat this crisis, virus. I'm deeply indebted to all those who have donated so many things, individuals, small groups, companies, associations, NGOs, institutions, all have given so much to this institution. Some have even fabricated various equipment and gifted it to us. I am deliberately not singling out names or departments or section heads because this is a time to be inclusive and to applaud everyone's effort, no matter how big or small. And therefore, all of you have my deep appreciation of your efforts and we look forward to your continued hard work and support for a very, very long time. Once again, Wishing you all a very happy Independence Day. Stay safe and may God bless you always. Thank you and Jai Hind.